Hey everybody, Don Fishback here, and I'll tell you what, if you if you are staying in this financial business long enough, you're bound to see everything, and I've been doing this for 36 years, and today I saw something that I never thought would happen, and I'm going to talk to you about it here in just a moment. Okay, so today we saw something happen in the crude oil market, the commodities market, that is probably something that takes a little bit of an explanation because it's something that, again, I've been in this business for almost 36 years, and something happened today that I've never seen before, and it was so unusual that I actually reached out to some of my friends that work in the clearing, the, the contract clearing business, and they actually trade they their data is used to uh, clear about a tr and I'm not making this up about a trillion dollars of stock trades every day and today I wanted to find out from them are negative prices possible now we know negative prices are impossible for stocks stock can go to zero and that's it but what about commodities and so that was my question. And I got an answer about 11 o'clock. And so crude oil prices were, I think you've probably seen they were, a couple of months ago they were about $60 and they went to 50 and 40 and 30. I remember when they went below 40, that's when they went below 50, I started getting nervous, got around 42, got really nervous, went below 40. It was like, oh my gosh, this is really not good. And then I said, if it goes below 30, something really bad is really bad has happened. And they got down to about 20. Well, today they went down below. They were a little bit below 20, think about 18. And then they went from 18 to 15 to 11 to 7 to 5 to 10 cents to a penny. And then they started going negative. So that's, they actually went negative. I got an answer, I didn't even know they could go negative. And I got an answer about 11 o'clock Eastern time this morning. And shortly thereafter, they started going negative. And they didn't just go a little bit negative. Imagine this, the crude oil prices were $40 at one point, just a couple, maybe a month ago, maybe, uh, what was it? It was about, about six weeks ago. They went to negative 40. So from 40 to negative 40. So what, what is going on? When a price goes negative, what does that mean? It means that you actually, if you own it and you want to get rid of it, you have to pay somebody to take it. So the people that owned crude oil futures for May expiration, they had to pay $40 to get rid of it. So if you bought it at 40 and they say you can only lose as much as your investment of right, that's not true with commodities. It may be true with stocks and it may be true with certain types of option strategies, but with commodities anything is possible. And this is what happened. So the the, the stock the the contract price went to minus 40. How does that happen? How does something go to my how does something go to minus 40? And you have to think about this with commodities, not all of them, but most of the, like crude, copper, hogs, corn, beans, cocoa, those are what's called physical delivery. So when you get a physical delivery of a, a physical delivery option, that means for one contract, you have to deliver 100 shares. And you're either going to deliver 100, you're either going to, be, you have to buy 100 shares if you've sold a put, or you're going to have to sell 100 shares if you sold a call. With commodities, if it's a crude oil contract and you bought it, the physical delivery is 1,000 barrels of oil. So if you bought crude oil at $20 a barrel, you, it's, it's $20,000 and you get to put up margin, so it's really highly leveraged. But it, if it goes to minus 40, you gotta pay $40,000 just to get rid of that thing if, if, this, if the thing goes to minus 40. 
So you had to pay to get out of it. And if you think about this, the commodities, it's not just, it's not just crude oil, uh, like live hogs. The, so these things are all in contracts of a delivery size. Live hogs, I think it's about 35,000 pounds. Well, what is that? That is the trailer, the hauler. That's how many, about 35,000 pounds of hogs can fit in one of those trailers. Or cattle is 44,000 pounds. Well, it's 44,000 pounds of cattle fit in the trailer. Uh, wheat, corn, beans, like 5,000 bushels. Well, that's what fits in a railroad car. And 1,000 barrels, I think that's about what fits in a railroad car. Of, I may be wrong, but I think it's about what fits in a, a, a tanker uh, railroad tanker. So anyway, that's, you're getting, a, if you own the contract at expiration, you have to take delivery. You get a certificate. Now they don't deliver it to your front yard. I used to joke around that just buy a live hog contract and hold it till expiration. You're going to get a truckload of hogs in your yard, but you're going to get, there's going to be, a, a, if you own the futures contract, at expiration, there's going to be a thousand barrels of your oil in Oklahoma, Cushing, Oklahoma, which is where the terminal is. So you've got to get it from there to a refinery or a storage facility. And that's the problem. The problem is that the storage, the storage is overflowing. There is, there literally is no more storage. And so you're going to get that crude oil in, a, so it's a May delivery. The contract expires today. You're going to get it delivered in May, and you've got to take it. You have to take it. You have a contractual obligation to take it. And so you, that people that were owning those contracts today, and I think about 148,000 148, of these contracts traded today, 148,000. So people were literally panic stricken that they had, they owned these contracts. They knew they were going to get a delivery notice that they were going to have to take delivery of it. And there's no place to put it. I mean, typically it's just, it's real simple. It's like, you know what? First off, you can sell it normally, or you say, you know what? I want it and you have it shipped to a refiner and then everything's fine. Well, the refineries, they, we, they can't take anymore. Or you say, okay, I want to send it to a storage facility. Well, they're full. So now what do you do? And that was the problem. So it allowed something that I, again, I've, and I've been in this business a long time, like I said, 36 years, but what you might not know about is the first four years I was in the commodities business. I used to advise farmers on hedging strategies with options. So I have some pretty good familiarity with the commodity markets. I don't trade them anymore, but I have some familiarity with them. And this was the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So hope you liked the explanation. Now you know a little bit about what's going on. If you like this video, just hit the subscribe button and we'll be sure to keep you updated on all the happenings in the financial markets, whether it's stocks, options, or commodities. Thanks for watching.